Welcome back into Fox 13 News. Uh, new at nine, after a months long strike, some crews are back at work pouring concrete. One of the biggest projects that's been on the back burner has been the West Seattle Bridge. It's one small step getting back to those repairs going underway. A Fox 13 News reporter Alejandro Guzman joins us now live in West Seattle where that progress is finally being made. Alejandro, what's the latest out there? Matt, well, I can tell you that everyone is anxiously waiting for the West Seattle Bridge to reopen from the concrete workers to the Department of Transportation and the thousands of you who have been taking detours, well, practically daily. Today, crews poured the first of what could be at least 30 concrete deliveries, and this all comes in the midst of contract negotiations. What they're calling is a sign of good faith. Well, in the meantime, the Department of Transportation has been asking you to wait. Well, now they're asking you to be patient just a little while longer. Getting to work, school, doctor's appointments, or even just downtown Seattle has been a long winding detour for three years. I visualize it <laughs> with buses and cars on it. <laughs> a need many West Seattleites are hoping for after the bridge was closed in March of 2020 because of rapidly growing cracks in the concrete structure, according to Seattle's Department of Transportation. I finally got loaded up and I went to the West Seattle Bridge. Uh, got there about 5.30. Todd Parker was one of the first concrete mixer drivers on the bridge today. It feels good to be fixing the bridge. I know people really wanted that done. The 50-year-old helped pour the first concrete needed to help repair the bridge this morning. It's a huge relief to get those first pours. The finish line is in sight, but you can't, we still can't quite gauge how far away it is. A huge first step for the critical infrastructure. Before it failed, it carried hundreds, if not thousands, of travelers every day connecting the West Seattle Peninsula and the Duwamish Valley to the rest of the city. Construction started in November, according to SDOT, but... It came to a halt when more than 200 concrete workers started marching up and down six major concrete companies' entrances. Workers demanded better wages, pensions, and medical benefits. We returned for uh, pretty much the community to get the West Seattle Bridge fixed, some of the light rail fixed, get some people back to work. A sign of good faith to one, get negotiations underway, and two, help boost our economy, according to Todd. But a major question remains. Will the concrete strike play any effect or delays into when West Seattle Bridge finally reopens? Well, it, it might. I still have a great hope, um, cautiously optimistic that we'll still be able to open up in mid-2022, but it definitely will be later than June 30th. Negotiations between the six major concrete companies and Teamsters 174, who represents the concrete workers, they resume tomorrow. And while Todd says that if things don't really pan out, at least he and the several others who have returned to work, they're going to stay on this project and make sure that the West Seattle Bridge, well, is repaired at least by the deadline. He does warn that the other 200 will continue on strike. Mayor Harrell says reopening the bridge is a big priority. However, he too is urging for agreements to come very, very soon. We have his full statement on our website, fox13seattle.com. In West Seattle, Alejandro Guzman, Fox 13 News, back to you.